Hey guys, and happy Wednesday. I can't remember the last time I did a Facebook Live. It's It's been a very productive last week or so. I had my first keynote of the year this morning, which was really exciting, and I have another one in about three weeks, uh, which I'm also very, very excited about. So if you're popping on, um, please say hi and where you're coming in from. Hi, Kim, Andy, good to see you. And what I wanted to go over, and as you guys know, I, I love breaking down things into very simplistic terms. I, I love breaking things down in, in easy terms. And, and I, I've been having, you know, my own aha moments and I've been having my own self-reflection because again, I, I, I speak to so many people. Hey, Greg, good to see you. What's up, Jace? I, I see and talk to so many network marketers and I have such admiration and love for the profession. I mean, I owe everything to it. If I never said yes to network marketing, there's no way my life would be the way that it is now. It's, it would just be impossible. It, it had to happen this way. But the more that I'm in the game, whether it's on the business side or helping and coaching others, there's a reoccurring theme and there's a, a reoccurring trend that I'm seeing in why people aren't succeeding. So if you're coming on as Andy has done and Greg, Please say hi and where you're coming in from. Hi, Tammy. Please share this video. Tag some teammates. Now, there are three main reasons. There are three main reasons that I feel why network marketers' businesses have been the same or are going backwards. And what I'm going to share with you, it's not rocket science, but it makes complete sense. The six inches in between your ears actually controls what you will and what you will not achieve in network marketing. I am absolutely sure of that. Thank you, Andy. It has nothing to do with the company. It has nothing to do with the culture, the compensation plan, the products. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with your mindset. If you believe that you can do this business, you can. If you don't believe you can do this business and you have an inkling of doubt, you won't. So, there are three things. Number one, the number one reason that your business, you're bouncing around from company to company, your business has and is not growing. You're it, like, and I don't want you guys to fool yourselves anymore. You can call yourself a network marketer, but does your income match what you tell people? And there's three reasons why. Number one, your confidence. You're not confident. You are not a confident network marketer. And people can smell a lack of confidence from a mile away. You're not confident that you can do this. You're not confident that you can lead a team. You're not confident that you can grow your business or build it in the pockets of your time. It's your confidence. It's not your upline. It's not your downline. It's not your company. It's not the products. It's not the compensation. It's not the lack of training. It's not the lack of this. It's none of that. It's your confidence that you can actually do this. So many people say they want it. Their actions say something else. They say they want to build a multiple six and seven figure business, but their actions say something else. People say they want to create money and time freedom, but their actions say something else. So if you have a lack in confidence, if your confidence is not at a level 
where you know without a doubt, without a doubt, you're going to succeed. It's not going to happen. And Andy says you can do everything your mentors are doing, but you must believe. Absolutely. So number one, your confidence. The number two reason why your business is not growing is staying the same or going backwards. Your posture. And that goes right along with confidence. Your posture. Your posture says, I don't know what I'm doing. Your posture says, I'm not sure if I can do this. Your posture says, I'm not sure if I can lead other people. Just like how people can smell your lack of confidence from a mile away, they can equally smell a lack of posture from a mile away. Your lack of confidence and your lack of posture are attributing to your business not being where it is. And again, if you guys are coming on, Cindy, Tracy, Leah, Heather, say hi and where you're coming in from, hi Jen, tag some teammates, share this video. So again, the number one reason why your business is not going anywhere, your confidence. Andy says, my posture is getting better and I can feel people being more interested on LinkedIn. And I love that. You know, like will always attract like. Number two is your posture. If you have a lack in posture, if you have a lack in confidence, you don't have a shot in this business. Plain and simple, you don't have a shot. No one can teach you confidence. No one can teach you posture. We all possess confidence in our hearts. We all possess posture in our hearts. But it's up to you to do something about it. If you know that there's a lack in confidence, there's a lack in posture, what are you going to do to change it? What are you going to do? Are you going to wait for your mentors? Are you going to wait for your upline to help you with it? Or are you going to be proactive? And are you going to figure it out yourself? Or are you going to find a coach or a mastermind or invest in you to bring out the best in yourself? Now, if this is all making sense, type Y or yes in the chat box. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Meg. Hey, Lou. Good to see you guys jumping on. Good to see you, Leah and Tracy. Now, the number one, the third and final reason, and the number one reason, the most clear-cut reason why your business is staying the same, going backwards, or not going anywhere, is you. You are the reason why. You are the reason why. It's no one's fault. It's not your upline's fault. It's not your downline's fault. It's not your company's fault. It's not the compensation plan's fault. If you're not happy with where your business is, if you are not happy with where your income is, the only person's fault it is, is yours. You have no one to blame but yourself. And that's okay because every single successful person has played the blame game. They've pointed the fingers at other people. They have not taken ownership for themselves and they've tried to put it on other people. Oh, I'm not getting the support I need. Oh, there's not enough resources. Oh, this is blah, whatever, whatever the excuses are. 
you are the number one reason why you will either succeed or fail. And the choice is yours. So my message to you guys tonight, plain and simple, is cut the shit. Enough is enough. No more blaming others. No more pointing the finger at others. And start taking ownership for yourself, for your actions or lack thereof. And start doing something about it. Network marketing and life do not wait for you to become ready. Network marketing and life don't give you the perfect time to go all in. You have to create the perfect time. You have to create the perfect moment. And Andy said it best, leave doubt at the door and get after it. It's the truth. So many people have been in network marketing for three, four, five, six, seven, however long you've been in here, and nothing has changed. I was talking to a friend of mine, Justin Shank, who has one of the top business podcasts in the world. We did a podcast swap. I was on his, he was on mine. And he shared with me how when people reach out to him for help, and he expresses to them what it costs for someone to work with him. And they said, well, I can't afford that. And he says, well, you can't afford not to. Because he turns it around and he says, whether you work with me or not, if you don't invest in something soon, How different is your life going to be a year from now doing nothing? And the plain and simple answer is, it's going to be exactly the same. And I'm going to use Andy as an example. Andy and his amazing wife hired me towards the end of last year. And I know for certain that his confidence has gone up his posture has gone up and his business is going to look completely different at the end of this year because he's doing something different. He invested into his business. So my simple message to you guys is this. If you really want to do this, if you really want to grow a network marketing business, grow your confidence. Grow your posture, but more importantly, grow yourself. You are the most valuable commodity to your business, to your team, to your company, to your compensation plan, to your upline, and to your downline. You are the most valuable commodity. And don't forget that. I want to see you guys succeed. And I know that people are getting sick and tired of all the being overwhelmed with so much content out there and just pick something and do it. Whether it's learning LinkedIn or doing a mastermind, do something for yourself. If you want to learn how to grow your business, work with someone that knows how to grow a business or mindset or your relationship or spiritual, whatever you want to invest in, whatever is on your heart, invest in that. Because the only way you're going to get your life to change is if you change something that you're doing. And Andy says more people are accepting my connections on LinkedIn the more they are up leveled. And that's the truth. The more that you up level yourself, the more you're gonna up level your connections. 
I can't do this for you guys. I know each and every one of you has the God-given power and potential to do this, but you need to do it yourselves. Now, if you are truly ready to really make this year different, type I am ready in the chat box. Tag some teammates. If you feel inclined, share this Facebook Live. Invite them onto this. If you're on the replay, use the hashtag replay. If you're really ready, if you're really ready and committed to grow this business and to do what is necessary, type I am ready in the chat box. So remember, grow your confidence, grow your posture, grow yourself, you grow your business. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Love and gratitude to each and every one of you, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.